Right now, two people are dead, three critically injured, and more than two dozen hurt on a bus bound for Palm Beach County. Now, the bus involved in that wreck was headed to West Palm Beach to attend a Jehovah Witness Circuit Assembly. News Channel 5's John Shaman is starting our team coverage from Miami International Airport with more. John? Tanya, we are at Concourse D here at Miami International Airport, and I want to step out of the screen so you can see what's happening as we speak. You can see a brand new sign is being placed on the overpass here where the tragic bus accident happened earlier this morning. There are crews working on the low clearance sign, and you can see right now they are putting a new sign in, high vehicle stop, turn left. I want to show you some video of what happened earlier today. Two people dead. One person died at the scene. The second person died at the hospital. There were 32 people on board the bus this morning. Three are still listed in critical condition. Now, again, what we've learned is that the bus was heading to the Jehovah's Witness Christian Convention Center in West Palm Beach from Sweetwater down here in Miami-Dade County. But somehow the driver got lost, ended up here at the airport, did not realize his bus could not make it under the underpass and collided, just slamming into the overpass. And this happened uh, just around 8 o'clock this morning. The impact left the bus in such a position it made it difficult for firefighters to get to the injured. Fire rescue crews had to use the jaws of life to cut a huge hole in the side of the bus to access the patients. Um, the, the front of the bus is so heavily damaged that crews could not get into the bus. The only other way to get into the bus or accessing the patients was to cut a huge hole in the side of the bus to make it easier for them to extricate all the patients. All right, back out here live again. You're looking at some of the video that we did get earlier today from this uh, tragic scene. Uh, the two people who've been injured have not been identified yet. The driver has been identified as 47-year-old Ramon Ferriero of Miami. Uh, again, if we're back out live right now, I want you to just see what they're doing as we speak. They're putting in a brand new sign here, and that's what has a lot of people concerned is the fact that there are several signs here warning that an eight foot six clearance is just ahead and this bus could not uh, make it. Now what we learned also late this afternoon, according to the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, uh, the bus, which was owned by a company called Miami Bus Service, did not have any violations for unsafe driving or any episodes where uh, drinking and driving may have been involved in the past two years. It did have three citations for driver fatigue uh, back in 2011. So again, the situation right now, two dead after a tragic a bus crash early this morning as a bus was heading to the Jehovah's Witness Christian Convention Center in West Palm Beach. The group originating from Sweetwater, the bus not supposed to end up here at the airport, but the driver got lost and the tragic accident unfolded. We'll have much more coming up a little later in the broadcast. We're live at Miami International Airport. John Shaman, WPTV News Channel 5.